Hi guys, here is my Tornado Spear build. Um, Tornado is my favorite skill in the game. It's not the most damaging skill. Uh, so you may ask, why, why would you build around that? Well, it's one of the most fun skills to me, and it has the most hyper armor out of, I think, any skill in the game. You can make trades with Tornado against Yokai that you would never make with other builds. You become the Yokai bully. And that's, I'm going to show you my yokai bullying setup. So, when you're not doing an elemental build, I think you should use a purified or corrupted weapon. Uh, pur purified weapons are better against yokai, corrupted weapons are better against humans. Now, I find human enemies a lot easier than yokai enemies, so I don't really favor corrupted weapons. I do, however, like purity. In a spear build, it's especially cool because a blessed weapon allows you to key pulse right from a block. And why that's especially cool with spears because you flourish on uh, on key pulses, so you can go straight from a block into a flourish and an attack. That said, we will. I want you to get used to not necessarily blocking with this build. You can face tank through insane moves that you would never consider doing with other builds uh, and come out on top. And I'm going to show you some examples of that as we go along here. So I'm using the Great Holly Spear. It is imbued with purity. Another awesome thing it comes with is faster key recovery on Amrita Absorption. Uh, I love Amrita Absorption based buffs. This just helps keep everything nice and smooth. Uh, we take an attack bonus on Constitution. We do melee key damage. Now this debuff does a lot of key damage to Yokai. That's what that debuff does. Then we do even more melee key damage. We want to try to get Yokai out of key as quickly as possible. And uh, that's what this setup does. Uh, high active skill con uh, key consumption. We're spamming a high active skill all day long. So that's good. High guard key is nice to have. A life drain on active skill. Again, we're spamming an active skill all day long. This weapon is modeled to boost constitution and strength. Scale off both of these. Um, so that is the spear. Now, when it comes to the set for Whirlwind, Japan's Bravest is the set. You get 26.6% additional tornado damage between the buff and the active, the raw and the active skill. Um, and the other bonuses are quite nice as well. It's a heavy set, which is good because we are going to be in their face bullying them by spamming my, my favorite move in the game. The Warrior of the West bow is just a stat stick. As always, you get life. Um, you make sure you have your damage bonus agility A. It scales your damage on your main weapon. Make sure you have this. And then uh, the, my, the gun I use for shooting people is a cannon scaled to stamina. Um, and I take the one that has the innate cannon speed up because that's a really nice thing to have. Now, I'm working in three pieces of Mataza's set. This gives us 15% triple threat damage, uh, which is nice. It's Sometimes you want a more pokey option rather than going in because Tornado goes in. Uh, goes in hard and this just gives us a little bit of a boost there as well as faster movement when you kill an enemy which is nice um, now the reason I'm using a light helmet mixed in with this extremely heavy armor you can see the the Curus, for example has a whopping 13 pound weight uh, is to try to keep us in well is to keep us in B agility uh, I don't like being in C agility I think it's too slow and it feels clunky that said, if you're if you're okay with being a monster monster tank in in uh, C agility, I would recommend using. I don't actually have one built here. I would recommend using. There is a set helmet that gives you a 50% chance to never be winded. Um, Sandra's Sandra's helmet here it is. I do have one. So this is a medium helmet, um, and I would recommend maybe not using the holly spear uh, with the um, purity, purity and using the Sandra set with never winded because we trade both life and key at an enormous rate with this build and a 50% chance to just not get winded goes really well with the build. Now I, I wanted, that was my initial idea for the build. However, I could not do this and still be in B agility. So I, I ended up scrapping it and taking Mataza instead. And hey, 90% faster movement speed and 15% triple threat damage. What's not to love? 
in terms of what I've rolled on my pieces, I take the uh, defense and toughness on every piece. Um, and then this build is very cut and dry. I just take life and key where I can and attack. Uh, life recovery on Emerita Absorption on the chest is important. You should have this uh, defense bonus based on Emerita Gauge. It's easy to have your Emerita Gauge full. Life and attack, toughness defense, life attack, toughness defense. It's all. I do take a little bit of running speed on these two pieces. I also have a key bo a recovery bonus based on my Emerita Gauge here as well. Because, you know, why not? Now, I rolled many, many pairs of gloves to see if you could get Tornado-specific damage, and I could not get it. That is not to say that Tornado skill damage is not something in the pool. That is a massive pool of skills, and I, I just don't know if you can roll Tornado damage. Um, if you can, I would use it here instead of attack. And if you have it as an inheritable, please send me a message. I would love to chat with you and, and, and put additional tornado damage on every piece of this gear uh, but I, I don't I honestly don't know if that's a thing that can happen or not uh, and that said it's gonna function just fine uh, how, I, how I have it set up we're using a magatama life key I'm still taking a defense bo bonus to courage here despite only having I think 32 courage in the build because it still increases the magatama's defense by quite a lot um, emrita absorption you want you want to be absorbing life on your emrita so roll that here as well Tosh toshi's abacus is another part of the set um from atazas which does, gives us that triple threat damage easy easy to work in there and again just life key less damage taken really straightforward stuff and as always i take it uh faster winded recovery is extremely important on this build have this on one of your pieces for sure we expect to get winded from time to time on this build it's not the end of the world with this build because we are a bully and sometimes bullies need to take a breather for a second before they get back to bullying so i recommend having the faster winded recovery on a piece for sure with this build uh in terms of our spirit we're using tengen still the best spirit in the game uh he has the stance based emrita bonus that gives you a massive attack buff and uh yeah he's not really replaceable uh i'm using magatsu for two percent more active skill damage just to boost tornado a little bit more uh, Onryuki is absolutely needed in this build. Um, and our second spirit is Inosasua, which gives us an additional uh, less damage taken while you're in the middle of an attack. We are trading with this build. We are bullying with this build. We want to be taking a lot less damage while we're attacking because th this build is designed to trade. So make sure to have Onryuki slotted. That's the most important core. And then I'm using Namahage because he gives a melee damage versus zero key enemies. And I've already kind of gone over how with between purity and our melee key damage, we're kind of a yokai key destroyer. And so anytime we destroy their key, bam, we're doing 6% more damage. Seems good. Uh, it's worth noting to have these three cores slotted. You will need one of them to have minus one attunement cost. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, so let's get into stats. So when it comes to stats, I have 99 in Constitution, 15 in Heart just to get a little bit uh, more max max key, 32 in Courage just to get more key recovery. I have to I have to have 76 in Stamina to get this back to a B rating. I have 99 in Strength for dual scaling, and then Skill. Dex and Magic are all just at the base level requirements for the gear. Um, if you are at a lower level and want to try out a setup like this, although I would say that um, it's a pretty new game plus type build, you can you can lose a little bit of damage, scrap your 99 strength, and maybe you prefer to have some mad more magic than I do. I don't like magic in this, you know. I try not to use magic, but maybe you love magic and you could you don't have to have. Uh, dual scaling, you're not losing too much of your attack by just scaling off constitution, which obviously frees up a lot of points if you feel like you want to get into some ninjutsu or some magic. That's up to you. I I built this build for me to spam tornado, and that is what it is focused on doing, and that does not include magic or ninjutsu or any of that stuff. We are just spamming that. So let's get into our skill customization. When it comes to what I'm using on the spear, our main skill uh, is Tornado. We want it, we're staying in high stance, so we use stability, not not fluidity. I actually don't even have fluidity unlocked anymore because I adjusted my tree, which I'll actually show you that as well. So 
Tornado is our main skill. Triangle at the end of a combo. I have it um, scaling off constitution. Triple threat is our backup skill. I have that scaling off strength. We still can use Twisting Spear. I have it scaling, uh, scaling off stamina. We have 77 stamina. So it gets a nice boost as well. Um, but mainly outside of instances where I want to stay back and poke with triple threat, I want to be in their face spamming tornado all day long. Uh, and that's what I've, that's what I've designed this build to do. Now, when it comes to looking at the spear skills, the ones that activate when you are below 30% health, as this is again, a trading build, this is not like an elixir free build where you're never going to be healing. You know, you're going to, you're going to take damage with this build. That's just how it goes, but they're going to take more. Um, so that said, the when your health drops to 30% or lower, Indomitable Spirit, Corner Titer, Corner Boar skills are phenomenal for this build. So that if we if we do happen to get low, our key pops faster, our damage hits harder, we take less damage, we we become real nasty um, when we're low. Uh, and really, and and all you need to go for in skill wise is 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 tornado. But yeah, I I really like these cornered skills. And uh, an indomitable spirit because you can get low with this build because you're face tanking so much. When it comes to jitsu, uh, I have because of my extremely low magic stats and and dexterity stats, I have uh, extraction talismans, which is all I need, and tiger running scrolls, and that's it. You could run like a if you die, you come back scroll. If if you know. There's lots of variations uh, you could do do with this setup, but I I'm very comfortable and happy with this this setup, and I'm going to show you uh, how it plays as well. So uh, if you have not beaten the game, don't watch me play through this. This this is your spoiler alert. And I want to show you just how much of a bully we can be i want to i want to show you i want to tank moves that you wouldn't believe you would never consider tanking some of the moves that i'm going to tank and you'll see not only do i tank them i come out on top you don't want to trade with me i'm a bully i'm a yokai bully and i'm nasty you know is it is it the most damaging setup in the game not even close is it incredibly fun yes I love this skill. It's one of my favorites. If I was smart, I would have used it every absorption talisman before fighting these guys. William, please. You're nudging me. Hand cannons are really fun. I may at some point do a uh, hand cannon specific setup. See how far you can take it. So I don't care what this guy has to say. I'm going to use my the immense hyper armor from Tornado and just show him who's boss. It's great at breaking horns. You can see between the horn break and the status effect, he immediately ran out of key, and that's a hard monster to get out of key. Uh, his his up his brother, the other deadly horse. Watch me tank this. No, see? Most builds are going to block on that move. On that initial... Whatever initial move this guy does, I promise that you you will come out on top. Just trade with him. You know? You are a bully with this setup. And really, when it comes on how to play, it's very simple. I spam Tornado over and over and over because I love this skill. It just... The whole Gandalf ground pound into the ground with the butt of the spear... Uh, it's it's amazing tracking the fact that it hits everything around you. It's just an awesome skill that is really fun to build around. I was going to say the other horse uh, boss runs out of key a lot faster for some reason than that one. They have very different tolerances to uh, to purity. See, and we just trade. We just trade with that hit. That's fine. See, now this is a mob I'd like to try to use the poke on because I want to try to break her egg. Just like that. Boom. Knock her down. Beautiful. I'd love to see it. It's nice to have the poke in the back pocket. It does pretty reasonable 
Uh, reasonable damage as a backup skill. Notice on a play like that, I switch targets mid combo. Uh, switching targets mid combo is really effective with Tornado if you want to try to spread out the damage, or uh, you can sometimes nick, get back hits just ran. Like you can, you can, you can kind of aim it. See, even even her key destructive pulse is not enough to stop me most of the time. I am unstoppable. Like axe guys, whatever. We just trade just we just trade again um, there's another one of the mobs that you particularly would not consider trading with with most builds right here we just run up and say okay ah, I couldn't get much to start of my tech off unfortunately that time but really though we we can trade we are extremely tanky so you can see how easily I just absolutely crushed through this level I mean <laughs> I don't know. I never get tired of using Tornado. It's it's my favorite skill in the game. I love to spam it. And I'm not going to stop now, even though... This boss is incredibly annoying. Now you can see it because uh, the the monkey set him on fire, and we've it put the anti-corruption debuff on him. Although it drops in two seconds on here, he was in a state of confusion briefly. See, and now he's out of key. See, we have knocked this boss out of key because we are a bully. I mean, we can face tank it all, and and we can spam we can spam tornado all day long, and uh, that is one of my favorite ways to play the game. I think I've covered everything at this point. Um, let me know if you have any questions about, about uh, the tornado, tornado build in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks.